short, y'all. I just wanted to talk for a bit. I'm not going to lie. I uh, didn't really think I was going to make this video. But you know what? I just wanted to give my piece out there. You know, I've been seeing a lot of news going on in the past couple of days. And I'm like, you know what? I really wanted to make a video talking about just the little things I wanted to talk about. So why not? We're going to start with Charlotte Flair. There's two news videos I want to... There's two things I want to talk about today. Charlotte Flair reportedly being done with NXT. And WWE looking to redesign championship belts. Let's start with Charlotte Flair to get this out of the way. So, Charlotte Flair lost the NXT Women's title... Uh, against Io Shirai and Rhea Ripley. She lost the title to Io Shirai in a great triple threat main event match at TakeOver In Your House, which was a good show, by the way. Very good show. If you missed it, yo ass is missing out a lot. It kind of it kind of told me, hey, remember how NXT was? Remember how good NXT was? Despite what's going on in the world right now? Booyah! That's how NXT is. Don't forget it. And honestly... It reminded me how good NXT was, even though NXT has fallen off since the year began. I will not even lie. But Flair not taking the fall, it appears that if she worked a singles match with Io Shirai in the near future, however, according a, from a source familiar with the situation, Flair is actually done with NXT for the time being. Nick Hosman asked Triple H on the post-event media call about Charlotte Flair's future in the NXT following the loss. Charlotte always been a raw talent. That's where she signed and is her own. She's been working all three brands lately, which has been awesome, but we'll see. I, I, I'm going to have to uh, disagree on you with that, Triple H, Angle Cat. I mean, Charlotte Flair is good, but seeing her on Raw, SmackDown, NXT, I mean, that's, that's too much. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm not 100% sure of that, but I think it is in, in this moment that obviously just happened. I think we will see where it goes. Triple H also said that the finish was done for a long-term storyline. That finish was done tonight. The way it was done was for a, spe a very specific reason. To me, the whole rhetoric regarding Charlotte Flair and her dad and her name is garbage. She works as hard as anybody I've ever seen. She's a great performer. She deserves anything she's ever gotten and has. This was done for a very specific reason for storytelling purposes. Hopefully, if we get to tell the story the way we want to want to over the coming months, three or four months from now, you'll go, I know exactly why they did the finish they did. I, I It's funny. I don't look at Charlotte Flair or any women in the WWE as the greatest ever. Like, in the women's era. Like, in the women only, I don't look at them as the greatest ever. Everybody feels like in the same boat with me. I don't know. Nobody stands out, like, in today's women's, uh, in today's women's evolution. Nobody stands out to me anymore. You know, Becky Lynch, she did for a short period of time, but she hasn't been consistent. Becky Lynch is... Whole title reign in 2019 was absolutely bad, okay? And then you had Charlotte Flair. Charlotte Flair, I stopped being a Charlotte Flair fan since she beat Asuka for the women's title at WrestleMania. And when she broke the streak. After that, I just realized, you know, Charlotte Flair is just being shoved on everybody's throats. Sasha Banks, they've ruined Sasha Banks to a point where I could barely care if she does gain any success in the WWE at this point. Four women's title reigns, and none of them ever eclipsed over 30 days. And ba Bailey's the only one I actually care. And in the four horsewomen, Bailey's the only one I actually feel, I actually have feelings towards to. Everybody else, I, I don't really care. But I don't look at Bailey as the greatest ever. I'm just saying, you know, Bailey's great, just not the greatest ever, because she's not there yet, you know? But yeah, I don't look at Charlotte as the greatest ever, but. I will say that she is a great performer, no doubt about it. When it's time to bring it, she brings it, and she she still does good. She still does it good in the ring. I'm just saying that less Charlotte would be better for all of us, honestly. 
I'm not saying she needs to get hurt or anything, but she needs to do something for her to be gone for months, and then everybody would be like, no, not even months. She needs to be gone for, like, she needs to, maybe she needs to get pregnant like Becky Lynch. She should be gone for a year and a half, and then everybody, then everybody would be like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's been a while we haven't had Charlotte on TV, but then again, I feel like everybody at that point would be like, oh, f here comes Charlotte, like, you know? It's kind of like when Roman Reigns came back. Everybody was like, oh, God, the Roman agenda. I don't know, but she's going back to Raw. I knew I had a feeling she was a Raw star anyway. She wasn't gonna be on the NXT brand full time. Like I don't know. I just knew that she was gonna stay on Raw because they, the way how they had handled her title reign was bad. I mean, what did she do? I mean, NXT beat AEW once in the ratings, but outside of that, nothing else happened. So that whole title reign was worthless in my eyes. Anyways, so Charlotte Flair. We'll be gone from NXT for the time being. If things go back to normal in the next couple of months, then I guess Triple H is wanted to bring Charlotte Flair back into the storyline with Io Shirai and have that go on. And maybe we'll see the finish that Triple H is talking about. We're going to see the storyline of why they did the finish they did at TakeOver in your house. Now let's get to the juicy part. WWE looking to redesign some of their title belts. Here we go. Wrestling Inc. has learned that WWE is reportedly working on new belt designs for some of their titles. Belt Van Dam of BeltTalk.com tweeted in May that WWE is working on new versions of some of their belts and that they are already in production. Wrestling Inc. has learned that WWE is working on revamping the NXT Championship. The new look has the same design but in a bigger size. WWE United States Championship is also getting a redesign. I don't know if it has been completed yet, but they will likely release it once they have replicas available to sell on the WWEshop.com website. So... When, they, when I first heard that the NXT title was going to get revamped, I was, I was, I was going to rage. I was going to say, why? This belt's been around for three years and you're already changing it? Why? Right? And then it said, well, it's just it's going to be the same design. It's just bigger. That's it. Like, okay. Maybe they might tweak some things here or there, but okay. I'm a big advocate for championship belts. I'm, I'm sure you guys know by now. So, obviously, I would be very, like, in tune with, with this report. So I do appreciate that, you know, make the title a bit bigger. I had feelings at times where the title was a bit smaller. Maybe that's the reason why I kind of like the old NXT belt, the one everybody hates so much, the one with the, the big X on it everybody dislikes. I like it because it was big. You know, championship's supposed to be big, right? Supposed to be big and make you, like, look like, yeah, motherfucker, like, like, this is what you're fighting for. This big piece of tin that looks pretty as fuck. Right? So I'm glad it's saying that it's a new look. You know, it's a, the look the new look has the same design but it's in a bigger size. That's all that's all there is to say about that. But the United States title it's funny. The United States Championship is the one title belt I have no issue with. It's the one belt I have no issue with. I don't see any problem with it like everybody else does. Everybody else is saying, oh, it's tacky. It looks so plain. This and that. I'm just like, dude, I don't see any issue. There's nothing I could say that could that could convince me of, oh, this is a bad championship or it looks awful. It just, I don't know. It just, it just works for me. I, I don't know, but I don't mind a redesign, you know? It's been around, the, that championship design, I, th I feel like the reason why people have a problem with the championship belt is because it's been the same design for all these years. They could come up with any excuse they want, but I feel like that is the most legit excuse I can actually allow people to say to me. It's because it's been around for so long. It's the one title they've never changed. They changed the Intercontinental Championship multiple times. They changed the WWE title multiple times. Universal title had a recent change. The United States title is the longest reigning belt that never had any change. And no, adding a new logo from the old one does not count. So I gotta give him that. So redesigning the United States title, I actually don't mind it. I want to see what the belt looks like. What they should change is the WWE, Intercontinental, Universal, Raw, and SmackDown women's titles, and the tag belts as well. Mostly Raw than SmackDown. The dimes, I appreciate the dimes. I like the dimes for SmackDown. When I, when I first saw them years ago, I was like, 
Ooh, that looks so beautiful. I love it. I love it. But then Raw had with red. I was like, ugh, that looks so or That was like, oh, it looks so bad. So, I would honestly change the Raw tag team, Raw and SmackDown women's belts, and the WWE Intercontinental and Universal belts got to change. Especially the Intercontinental titles and the WWE, design, WWE Championship and Universal title designs. That, that logo shit got to go. Honestly, that logo title, the, the, they gotta go. Honestly, I, I, I can't. I don't like, I just don't like it the, with the swoosh at the bottom. It doesn't matter. Just change it, dude. Just change the whole damn thing. Oh, let's just put a logo on and put champion at the bottom. Really? That's it? That's all you got? That's all you got? You're, you're a billion dollar company and this is all you got? God damn. Intercontinental title? Easy. Just add color. Put the put it with a white strap, add some color, and that's it. I swear to God, people will love this championship if you add color and have it with a white strap. Everybody will love it. I swear to God. That's all I gotta say about that. I'm, I'm a big advocate for championship belts. So that's just me. What do you guys think about Charlotte Flair? Should she go back to NXT? Should she stay on Raw? Or f off. I don't <laughs> or or what about the championship belts? What title belt do you want? changed in the wwe sound off in the comments below thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time and i'm out later we some southern boys with the prime of strength ain't nobody man enough to feel the pain and you can be next Respect.